Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to evaluate the integral that is in chapter 7.5, number 72 in Stewart textbook. Now in this integral, right away I see that there's a problem with ln, okay? So what I wanna do is either substitution or integration by parts. Now in this case, I would sub suspect that I cannot really substitute because u equals to ln here, and I need to have my du to be one over x plus one, which I don't have. So I would use integration by parts. But using integration by parts, I need to look at the table. The one with ln is right here. So I want my du dv to be my x to the power of n, okay? So if I know that, so I know that my dv is going to be x to the power of minus two dx, right? This is the bottom part right here. So that my u is equal to ln of x plus one. Now, if my u is equal to ln of x plus one, so I know that my du is going to be one over x plus one times one, which is times dx. And then my v here is going to be minus x to the minus one, plus c. So this is basically minus one over x plus c. Now following my integration by part, uv minus integral of v du, I have something like this. Now this is going to be equals to minus ln of x plus one over x subtract. Now v times du, v is basically negative, so I have a positive here, and then one over x times one over x plus one dx. Now, if you look at this, this is another integral that we need to use a partial fraction because I have factors at the bottom. I wanna separate the two fractions. So this is partial fractions. So let's do that on the next page, just focusing on this integral. We'll come back to the final answer after. So I have integral of one over x times one over x plus one dx. So my partial fraction is one over x, x plus one equals to a over x plus b over x plus one. What are the value for a and b? So I know that one is equal to a times x plus one plus b times x. So I need to let my x equals to zero so that my a is going to be one. If I let my x equals to minus one, my b is going to be minus one. Okay, so if I have something like this, now I can evaluate this integral. Now this integral is going to become one over x dx minus integral of one over x plus one dx. Now each one of them is just an ln. So this is equals to ln of x minus ln of x plus one plus c. So I have my answer for this integral now. I'll put my final answer right here. My final answer for the question at the first part here is look, it looks like that. So I have minus ln of x plus one over x plus ln of x minus ln of x plus one plus c. So this is basically my final answer. If you want, you can actually group the ln, okay? So if you wanna group the ln, so what should I do here is, um, let me, oops, let me recopy this on the next page. So I have minus ln of x plus one over x, and then I have plus ln of absolute value of x minus ln of absolute value of x plus one plus c. If you group them, this is going to be ln of x plus one to the power of minus one over x plus ln of x minus ln of x plus one plus c. And plus is a multiply, minus is a, is a division. So what happened here is ln 
x plus 1 to the power of minus 1 over x times x over x plus 1. Absolute value plus c. So you're allowed to do that if you want. But uh, some, most teachers just can, can ask you just to leave the answer like this. It doesn't matter if you group them or not. Just showing you the properties that you learned in high school. Okay. So for more information about uh, integration by parts and partial fraction, please visit my website goforaplus.com.